hello everyone welcome back my youtube channel salesperson so this is rohit and today i'm going to show you how to work on lwc builder in vs code okay so this is the shorthand notation or this is the time saving process we can say that okay so to create lwc component under the vs code okay but always remember this is uh, this is this extension is not directly available in uh, extension part here you can see extension right so you have to download in particular website okay so i will show you which website you want to download that extension so don't worry about that so please watch this video until end so if you want to take some information about this video so please watch this video until end and please subscribe my youtube channel so let's get started without any further delay okay so here you can see i just opened my vs code okay here you can see and in the left panel you can see extension so just click this extension and search like lwc builder okay once you search this lwc builder so you cannot see anything regarding lwc builder okay because of this is extension is not available right now in marketplace but uh, you can work on this extension with the help of this v vsix extension okay so this is provided by visual studio code and also some salesforce developer so how to download and how to install this extension like lwc builder under the vs code okay so i already downloaded from this website you can see this uh, github website and under the lwc builder you can see generate assets and lwc vix just click this view row and i already downloaded in download folder so it's a extension is vix okay this is a visual studio extension okay so i already downloaded and now let's move in vs code and how to install this downloaded vsix extension under the vs code okay so first of all you have to browse your extension downloading downloaded extension under this vs code so how to do that so just open control shift p this is the command palette and here you can see extension install from vsix this one so just click this one and i already downloaded one extension here you can see lwc builder hyphen 0 0.1.4 point that extension like we have vsix right so this is the extension so i already installed in my vs code and how to work on the lwc builder so let me show you okay so once you install this extension under the vs code so you have to open that extension like open lwc builder okay so this is the command to open lwc builder right so just click this open lwc builder and you can see here new ui this is called dummy data once you are working any lwc component okay like component name api version expose master level description which file you want to add under the lwc component because because you know very well like once you uh, once you created any lwc component so it's automatic having three files by default like html css and metadata file dot xml right so this is all file here so if you want to take these all files so you can take otherwise leave it as it is okay and also let me explain this one we have to use this component like uh, app page record page flow screen home page utility flow screen here you can see snippet minimize all the community page and based on your device size you can choose like this is a mobile this is for mobile and this is for desktop screen okay so you can choose with the help of this options right so let me create one lwc component and you can see each and every component and every related things this lwc builder okay and also it is provided by here you can see uh, uh, github so just enter like demo okay and you can change your api version as you want like uh, right now uh, 53 is latest but uh, you can work on the 51 and 15 because 53 is still in beta or pilot mode okay so here you can choose your like api version and is uh, is exposed means if you want to show any component outside the vs code under the salesforce or so you can 
definitely choose and you, this is the most important things once you expose your component okay so here you can see master level is demo right then you can give your description like this is demo component like that and which file you want to take like i want to take to take html file css file svg as you want to take from anywhere so you can take otherwise leave it as it is test file like just framework you can install from here and you can create your test like underscore underscore test underscore something like that okay so you can see this type of things under this component if you check this one right so let me choose this file as well and we where to use this component i want to use this component app page record page home page utility and tab and as well community page right and also you can see like a property name so which property you want to show in an xml file metadata file so you can take like demo something like that which page like app page home page record page utility bar and type is like as a string right like as a name you can change from here name level you can see it's a required or not so based on your need you can choose or uncheck this button as well description you can give any description by default value like uh, my name rohit placeholder you can take any place enter like enter your name okay data source as you want to take some data source so you can take otherwise leave it as it is so object where you want and here you can see all the files like demo.html js css and metadata and just here you can see and all the configuration file is automatic ready right so which object you want to take from this uh, lwc builder so you can take otherwise leave it as it is right so i here you can see this is the automatic created by this lwc builder right so you can modify this these things as you want otherwise leave it as it is and create click the create button once you create this button and here you can see like one component is created right in a demo folder you can see underscore underscore tests underscore underscore right this is for testing purpose and this is the demo.css file html file and js file and the one is metadata file right so let me open each and every file like h1 here this is the some template js file and here you can see this metadata file right these all metadata file here you can see like api version is exposed is true master level demo this is the demo component and where we can use this component from here and this is a configuration part you have to enter these all th things like uh, name and all the things so here you can see okay you can use anywhere this one okay so this is the way to create your lwc component with the help of lwc builder okay and how to use this one so first of all we have to deploy this component so let me deploy first like deploy source to org so here you can see one command is going on and after deploying these things so you have to check this component is working or not so let me open the org here you can see it open my org and one process is going on and now you can see after the these things like that okay here you can see my org is open now okay once you open this org so you have to edit this page like light, lightning app builder okay for this component output okay so let me edit that page like home page so let me choose one application like sales application for this uh, demo purpose so like as a sales so just click this sales application and after that you can see the sales ui okay so let me edit this page like home right so here you can see gear icon just click this gear icon and after that you can see like edit page so just click this edit page here once you clicked on the edit page and you can see this lightning app builder lightning app builder home page so and after that you can see this ui right and you can see my component here like demo and you can drag and drop in particular places like here okay and also you can see the attribute like rohit 
this is the default value you can set any value as you want okay like just click this and here you can see okay so and this is the output just save it once you save it so you have to activate this one okay you know very well once you are working any lwc or aura component so just assign the org as a default save and here you can see activation successfully just go back once you go back so you have to check this output is coming or not okay like here this is the dummy demo here you can see demo right so this is the way to create your LWC, uh, LWC component under with the help of LWC builder okay so you can create anything with the help of this LWC builder okay so guys if you have any query questions so you can ask me and please subscribe my youtube channel because it's very helpful for me and see ya bye bye take care